Hey, welcome back to channel. Today we'll be playing a Fallout 3 challenge. We'll be doing a fist only run. We start off by giving our character an appropriate name for the challenge. Now the rules of the challenge are pretty simple. No guns, no melee weapons, and no weapons that are even considered unarmed. Only fists. That is pretty much the whole challenge rules. No grenades, no mines, no nothing like that. So after getting our character made, we go into making our stats, which is going pretty much strength for damage, endurance for survivability, intelligence for experience, and luck for crits. Now after making everyone hate Butch, we make our way down to the basement, grab the BB gun, and where we find our first challenge, the Rad Roach. Now the way to get around this is actually really simple. You can phase through invisible walls with your fists if you're in vats or pretty much any wall you'll see it throughout the video I'll be using vats with my fists to basically phase through objects after killing the rad roach we use vats on our father to get out After getting out, we make transition to the GOAT, where we'll be skipping the test and pretty much setting our stats in unarmed, medicine, and speech. After setting our points into their categories, we move on to the start of the challenge, where we save Butch's mom from the Rad Roaches, for no in particular reason. After killing the Rad Roaches, we make our way through. The hardest thing we encountered in the vault was the guards. As you can see, there weren't much of a challenge still with for vats. After killing the guards, we go interrogate the overseer and threaten his daughter to get the key. We make our way out of the vault. After getting out of the vault, we book it straight for Megaton, where we go to Cullen, pass the speech check to get information on our dad, and then head down, well, head over to the radio station, almost getting blown up on the way there jumping into the subway now the only thing that was really an issue in the subway was the feral ghouls and the ghoul roamers which actually killed me once though they weren't that much of an issue afterwards pretty much spammed vats because they can't harm me during it i make my way down to the brotherhood of steel's ambush where they killed the super mutants make my way through the building steal this loot from the dead guy then we encounter the super mutant behemoth which isn't much of a challenge along with the brotherhood of steel taking them down after we take down the super mutant we loot him head inside where we meet snoop dogg's cousin three dog pass the speech tag to find out where our dad has went he tells us to head to rivet city so on the way there we encounter some raiders wipe them out there were only a couple of them they were loaded on stems though we grab the jefferson memorial on the way there swim through some rads and then we finally make it river city where we see dr lee she tells us to head to the jefferson memorial to check the old lab we sell some nuclear bombs for some chems then we make our way into the jefferson memorial fully clearing it out not much of a challenge after clearing it out, we find out we need to go to Vault 112. On the way there, I found out the mole rats actually have the same audio as the imps from Oblivion. After finding the old abandoned garage, find Vault 112 inside, enter the simulation. After entering the off-brand metaverse, we make a kid cry and blame his parents' divorce on him. Then we head over to the abandoned house where we activate the failsafe and cause a invasion in the simulation while they subdue the neighborhood. We make our way out, find our father, which tells us to head back to Rivet City once again where we make a pit stop and get some more chems for the battle that's coming up. Our father tells us to head over to the Jefferson Memorial. We head there, we meet him there again, where he has us do some menial labor, like clearing the sewage and fuses. The Enclave raids the place, which I was slightly worried about. The Enclave was kind of just like a tin soldier, though. Went down in a few hits. The purifier explodes, and they die to radiation. I have to, have, I have to take Dr. Lee's goon squad on the way out. 
killing all the enclave, finding an enclave spawner where I kill around like 10 of them. After killing all the enclave, I convinced Dr. Lee to leave her friend behind because I didn't want to give up five stems. Then proceed to clip through a floor to attack on cliff soldiers and then having to use those five stems. Make my way to the Brotherhood of Steel where Dr. Lee decides to get stuck and make me restart the whole conversation again. Train in power armor. Then I make my way to the scribe Rothschild where he tells us where Vault 87 is. Make my way to the child camp that's in the cave. Pass another speech check to be let in make my way through encountering the super mutants and phasing through another wall making my way in and then finding vault 87 leveling up again and then encountering whatever this is on the inside some buggy super mutant huh then i find fox in a cell release fox and actually take him with me at a rad suit but he gets the gek for me after getting the Gek, I make my way back out, getting captured by the Enclave and almost missing the whole thing. After the Enclave captured me, they take me to the Colonel's fun place where we find out he's back alive. My dementia kicks in, I forget the code. He doesn't believe me, but then the President wants to meet with me and then frees me. I pass another speech check for somehow. And then I make my way up having the president kill the enclave on the way there after passing up the stairs to the president i meet him and somehow convince him to blow himself up and the enclave after i take the fev virus from him i make my leisure walk out as pretty much everything explodes you know just a leisure walk in the park on the way out I find Fox waiting for me on the outside. I decide to bring Fox with me because he can use his hands. And who doesn't like Fox? After making my way to the Brotherhood of Steel, I tell Elder Lions that the Enclave has the Gek. Liberty Prime becomes the Honored One as he ascends. Liberty Prime then helps me make it all the way through, pretty much killing everything along the way, making sure I don't have to do anything at all and clearing it completely. Liberty Prime takes down the barrier around the Jefferson Memorial, allowing us in. I enter the Jefferson Memorial and clear out all the enclave inside. Fox then also shows off that he can do it too by helping me eliminate the enclave by himself. I had then encountered the Colonel again, using my instant transmission I learned earlier to take him out in one hit. Me and Fox clean up the Enclave. After they've all been cleaned up, Sentinel Lions decide to rain on the parade and try to get us killed by making us draw straws. After Sentinel Lions is a downer, I proceed to send Fox into the purifier because he's pretty much immune to radiation. And that answers the question, can you beat Fallout 3 with only your fists? Now this is a bit of a different video than normal, but if you guys enjoyed the video, want to see more videos just like this one, then make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.